Hey everybody, welcome back to Age of Empires Online. I'm Zakasaurus and today I'm gonna well I'm not gonna play a legendary quest instead. I'm gonna play an elite quest to caption Kurion and I wanna use this quest for something. Well hope you I hope you're enjoying Halloween. If you haven't checked if you haven't checked my Halloween video, you can check it right up here in the cart. Uh, right now I have a different plan and I want to take a little bit of break from the legendary quest uh, I've been playing a lot of those Halloween quests so I'm bored so Korean it's one of the again it's one of those 12 kingdoms of Cyprus one. So, yeah, you can find it in Cyprus. This is not a legendary quest, this is pretty much just an elite quest. So, what's the objective? Pretty much destroy fortresses, and there's a side quest train only town center units. Now, that's what I'm gonna talk about. You, you could say. This side quest is train only villagers, but there's actually something very interesting going on in this game. If you have watched some other videos, me playing, let's say, let's say, legendary capturing FSO, where you can train only spearmen and villagers, you might have noticed I was not training only those units. I was actually training as well caravans. Well, there are certain units that, like, I don't know how exactly it's working, but they are excluded. And I'm gonna show you in this video what other units you can actually train. And I feel like this is a perfect quest since this says only town center units, so villages pretty much. So I cannot get. I cannot train spearmen, I cannot train cavalry, anything. So I'm pretty much limited. The villagers, right? Well, that's what what looks like at the first sight. But actually, I have access to slightly more units, and I'm gonna show you. So, yes, we have the villagers, but I can actually train also fishing boats. And just like. I said before, I can train also caravans, so I'll be building market and train caravans soon as well. But I can also train merchant transports. I'll show you that later once I get the dogs. Let's see here. Begin the upgrades. So the, these four units are actually like the only units you can actually train during these quests. And what I see them having in common is all of these units are either collecting resources or generating resources. So for collecting we got the villages and fishing boats, for generating we got the merchant transport. Oh I should say just space. Houses. I'm gonna build a tower. Let's get this. But then you might also ask, how am I supposed to beat this quest with only villagers, right? Caravans cannot fight, fishing boats and merchant transports are pretty much useless since I can take them only down here. And you can see I'm not lying, I actually still have the option quest available and I just trained fishing boats. I train um 
I started training the merchant transport. Usually when you start training a unit that you're not allowed to, it will already make it failed in result. So you might be asking, how am I supposed to beat this quest? Well, I have good news. Well, for most of you who play this game. But bad news for those of you who main Norse and Babylonians. And I'm gonna, if you wanna think about it, why is that? Yeah, pause the video. Cause I'm gonna say it right now. So you have three, two, one. Pause it now. The main reason is. I actually didn't know about it, but I've seen it on the forums and I tested it. I can actually train advisor units as well. And it felt odd to me, why advisor units? Since they usually are like infantry, cavalry and such. So why those? Well, like, eh, it would make sense. I'm not sure how it, exactly it works. In this game, I think there's that every sip has like a list of units that you can train, or you can train, and when you start training one of those units, then it's failed. I don't know, honestly. So, I'm not gonna tell you exactly how it works, but. You actually can train advisor units. So, and yes, as I said, it's bad news for the Norse and Babylonian scenes. Those are the only sips that don't get any advisor unit. You won't be able to find any of those. So, pretty much this is... Well, you might try it as Norse, beat it with just villagers, but I feel like <laughs> good luck with that. Merchant transport, I have the caravans, fishing boats, villagers. Now I'm gonna get the fortress, sure, sure, sure. Get this, get this. It's okay. 
Now I'm at huge disadvantage since I cannot get a single unit to defend. There, there are Silver Age advisor units for Egyptians, I just don't like them. Oh my priestess. Oh, that's bad. That's resources for me, well it's okay. to be careful, I almost wanted to press the hotkey for the elephants. Oi, why are you here? Come on, man. Why so mean? I'm using armored elephants for this. Those are those are pretty much the war elephants you can see I'm playing as or against Egyptian, but they are a lot slower, but have higher bonus against buildings. And I think they also have higher peace armor, but I'm not sure right now. Get the armory. Let's get houses. Okay, you're the arm. 
armor. But before you actually start attacking the main base, I recommend going to the sides and destroy the units and towers that are actually on the cliffs. Search the water, is there anything? Patrols on this side, they have Ogromos, and there should be some spearmen and some obstacles, I think. But Ogromos are nasty against armored elephants. Some siege, especially these catapults, they are nasty. Armored elephants are definitely great units against buildings since they have their bonus is actually six times. Also, there's been recently a patch, and it seems because I don't remember it being like this, but you can actually see the bonus is actually better. The bonus damage is actually... You don't see just the... You don't see like 3.6 times, you... You see 3.60 times actually. So it's more precise this way. Everything. 
The only problem I see is with these elephants is they are slow. They are slow, much slower than normal cavalry. They are pretty expensive, like 250 to 300 food. This is here. Okay, this is the most difficult part about this place, getting through this canyon. There's a lot of defensive structures, siege. That's why I like the elephants actually here. They actually can soak a lot of damage. So as Egyptian you might actually have, have it the easier way to beat this quest. By just grabbing the armored elephants. So, pretty much, I have to break through this gate. Preferably kill the entire group that is patrolling here and then rush in, destroy the siege, destroy the gastrofetes and the buildings.
Problem. These elephants take forever to train. Twenty four seconds. Break the wall. Get rid of the siege already. There we go. Now it should be very easy. Thank you. 
down. I said the worst part is too much this. There's just a lot of siege to get through. Okay, I'm just gonna grab the chest very fast and be right back. Okay, here's the last chest. Okay, so all the treasure camps. So one is over here in the on the right cliff. Right up here. Next chest is right here, which is pretty much the, behind the second. Or third gate, I should say. So, again, like the upper cliff, right up here behind. Next one is up here. Once you enter the base, then to the right. And then one over here. Enter the base through the left gate and to the left. And that's uh, pretty much it. Okay, so let's head back. We're gonna take a look at the rewards. You cannot expect anything special. Since this is just a elite quest. Good luck. Some points, some fur. Okay, I don't know that. Yeah, see, you cannot expect anything else. But I think this quest is nice to show you what units you can actually train during during these quests when you are limited just on let's say spearmen, villagers, town center units only so you can see you can train caravans, you can train fishing boats, merchant transports and advisor units I don't know if that's like true for quests where you are not allowed like to train ranged units or something like that if you could train ranged units from an advisor I'm not sure that's something you can test out on it for your own. Okay, thank you very much so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please press the, press the like button, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. And leave a comment if you want me to do something like this. Elite quest, legendary quest, level, I don't care. Or just talk about something. This was Psychosaurus and I'll see you next time. Bye!